Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another clip. Uh, today something different again. Not drone related, but it's definitely flight related. And I've got a little RC plane. Now this is the Apprentice Stoll, which S-T-O-L, which stands for short takeoff and landing. It's a scaled down version of its big brother, um, the Apprentice STS 1.5, which had a 1.5 metre wingspan. <coughs> this little bird has um, a 700 metre um, wingspan. Um, it's a four channel plane, meaning its uh, control surfaces are the throttle, uh, ailerons, rudder, and elevator. It runs off a uh, 300 milliamp hour battery. Now that's what came with it as a ready to fly kit. Now I was told that'll give me about five to eight minutes of flight time, dependent on the strength of the wind and how I fly. Now I've gone and put a bigger battery in, which I was advised is okay. So I've put a 450 milliamp um, battery in. I just had to change the, um, the get a, a connector adapter um, for it to um, plug up okay. So without further ado, um, I think I'll pop it up in the sky. Now just one thing before I do, I've written my um, if found and written my phone number. So if anyone's watched my previous clip, I uh, had the FMS super easy uh, 1220 millimeter plane. Now that just flew off into the distance, unfortunately. Um, I become disorientated. I didn't know whether it was going away from me or coming towards me. And so it's just lost. So it's a good idea to do that. You know, anything short of putting uh, like an uh, air tag or some kind of tracker on it, which I don't know how you would attach to the plane anyway. So I'll just put my phone number on. It does have, um, uh, because it's virtually a trainer plane, it has uh, SAFE which stands for Sensor Assisted Flight Envelope. So virtually what that means is in beginner mode, if I uh, use the control, the joystick to um, roll the plane with the ailerons, it's, if I move the joystick right, it's gonna roll to the right, but when I let go of that joystick, if it's in a beginner mode, it's going to automatically re-level itself. Now, if I was in intermediate or uh, expert mode, I would have to um, use tiny adjustments to re-level the plane myself. Um, so another thing with safe, it also has a panic button, which doubles as a bind button. But the panic button is if it's in uh, a dive or you just feel like you've lost control of the plane, you're nervous, you're scared, um, all you got to do is let go of the control sticks, press that bind button. Now this works in intermediate as well. I don't know about expert mode, but you put that, press that button, the panic button, and it will, even if it's in a, a dive headed to the ground, you press that button and it's going to self-level out until you're confident enough to take control. Okay, so let's get this little um, bird in the sky. So I've just got to plug the battery in now. So... Always turn your transmitter on first before you uh, plug your battery in. And also always have the throttle um, down. Now I have a throttle, throttle cut off switch. So it's just extra safety and you don't want that propeller chopping into your, um, into your hands, that's for sure. You know, I just need my seeing eyeglasses here, folks. All right, so I've heard the little noise. That means we're all systems go. We've tucked the battery in there. Great little mechanism here. Uh, the top part of the front part of the fuselage. This loops under there. It's magnetic. So the wind's coming from that way. All right. Now, always want to take off into the wind and also land into the wind. All right. So here we go. Just check everything. All good to go. And up she goes. Now I'm just flying in, a uh, oh, bit more height required there, flying in beginner mode at the moment. Now this um, higher milliamp battery, it is a tiny little bit heavier. 
so I might need to do some trim with that. But look at that, that's about 50% uh, throttle. Just going along nicely. Give it a bit more gas. Now this is perfect. Oh, there's a bird paying a bit of interest um, in the plane here. Now this is a perfect size plane. Just um, fly at your soccer fields. Uh, in this instance, we're just down at the netball fields. There are soccer fields across the road. But in beginner mode, flying bri brilliantly. A bit windy up there. So I'm going to just flick it into intermediate. Now you'll see the, when I roll the plane, it's so much more pronounced than I was, if I was in um, beginner mode. You can see the wind just taking that plane. All right, I'm going to put it back into beginner mode. Virtually almost just floating up there because of the wind gusts. It is only a very light plane. We'll bring it around for a landing. There's a big uh, manned aircraft just taking off from Coolangatta Airport at the moment. Whoa, whoa. You see how easy it just takes off, you know, like within a, a few metres. Really, really easy to fly and really fun to fly as well. And because it's a smaller plane, you can fly it in um, more enclosed areas like, like this. I wouldn't be able to fly my um, bigger planes here. All right, I'll just bring it around for a little flyby. Like a low level. Whoa. Very quiet. It does have a nice sound to it when you are close to it. All right, and I just think I'll bring it in for a landing. Now, folks, like I said, I did buy this plane uh, as a ready-to-fly kit, and what that virtually means, you get everything with it. You get the controller, you get the battery and the receiver. Now, uh, because I've got a couple of different planes, I've got a, um, a different controller where I can store uh, several models at once, up to actually up to 250 models in this plane. You just have to uh, bind the plane to the receiver, which I have with the, um, because it's Spectrum. Um, and it's handy. So with these planes, um, and quite often when I first got into this hobby, I was always forgetting about setting a uh, flight time, like an alarm. But with this, it, um, it tells me I've got two minutes left of flight time, uh, which is a handy little feature. But anyway, so that was just a quick little clip of the, um, the Apprentice STOL 700mm. Uh, um, really fun. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give the thumbs up. Always goes a long way.